you've got plenty of other stuff to worry about when it comes to coronavirus. So Minnesota's health plans have agreed to waive cost sharing, deductibles and copays for COVID-19 related care. Now, these plans are the ones that offer full insurance. The Governor Walls urged large companies that are self-insured to follow suit. What that means to Minnesotans on these commercial plans is it means that uh, you're not going to have a bill when you go into uh, and, and should you happen to have to get care, um, they're going to waive that cost sharing. Also in his first of a kind Senate hearing, word from the hospital association that giving up elective surgeries has been a financial jolt. Members, our hospitals right now in Minnesota are losing $31 million a day. $31 million a day because of lost revenue from eliminating elective surgeries. And a poignant moment with the head of the Minnesota Nurses Association. Says we are on the front line. We head into the hospitals every day with what little PPE we have. And that's our armor. But you know something, we're ready to do battle in this virus. Knowing that the patients and the public is why we became nurses. That is Mary Turner from the MNA. Um, that meeting today was held first of its kind, really, in Minnesota. A Senate uh, committee meeting, a working group meeting held via Zoom, and then the rest of us could watch on Facebook. And that's how we were able to bring you those moments. Uh, one of the issues that we're hearing, Rena, about right now is that the hospitals are still waiting to get some of the grant money that the legislature approved. And what happened is that uh, the number of requests, applications for that money, far exceeded what's in the pool, what's in the fund, and the health department is scrambling, trying to figure out where to send that money and who needs it the most, and they're hoping to get some of that out fairly shortly. Back to you. So much to figure out. All right, thank you, John. Speaking of having